Hello and welcome to the Second Time Briefing. I'm Tiki with the top 5 socio-economic events for this week. Vietnam comes in amongst Asia's fastest growing economies. First quarter tax revenue crossed 11% year on year. Around 77,000 workers needed in Ho Chi Minh City in second quarter. Ho Chi Minh City proposed the building 500 kilometers of urban rail lines. Vietnam seeks 360 million US dollar loan from World Bank for high quality rice projects. <laughs> Vietnam has solidified its position as the sixth fastest growing economy among the top strategy in Asia, according to a report published on finance.yahoo.com. Asian economies are poised for an upswing in growth rates this year, with forecasts indicating a rise to 4.5% up from the previous estimate of 4.2%. Determining the top 20 fastest growing Asian economies for 2024 involves considering real GDP growth and per capita GDP growth, both internationally recognized metrics for assessing economic growth. Vietnam assessed to sixth place in Asia growth rankings is underpinned by a projected real GDP growth rate of 5.8% and a per capita GDP growth rate of 7.41% by 2024. Leading the rankings is Macau's special administrative region, followed by India, Cambodia, Bangladesh, and the Philippines. In Southeast Asia, Vietnam is followed by Indonesia, Malaysia, Laos, and Thailand. Vietnam tax revenue for the first quarter of this year was topped by almost 11% compared to the same period last year, according to data from General Department of Taxation. January to March tax revenue surpassed the estimates for this quarter by 16.9%, reaching nearly 490.2 trillion Vietnam dollars, with over 2 trillion Vietnam dollars collected from foreign service suppliers through electronic payment gateways. Domestic revenue expanded by 11.5% over the first quarter of 2023 to 474.4 trillion Vietnam dollars. However, out of the 20 task categories, since experience lower collection than in the previous year, value added task refunds were 8% higher than the year ago figures, totaling 31.9 trillion Vietnam dollars. There were 15,931 retail fuel stations nationwide launching electronic invoicing for all transactions, reaching 99.97% of all retail fuel stations by March 31st. Statistics from General Department of Taxation show that 39 out of 63 local tax offices met or exceeded their first quarter revenue targets. With improvements in the city's socio-economic performance in the early months of this year, Ho Chi Minh City-based businesses are seen needing to hire around 77,000 employees in the second quarter. Compared to the first quarter of the previous year, the demands for hiring remains steady, particularly focusing on positions requiring skills. The city's four key industries have seen an increase in hiring demand, while nine service sectors continue to experience stable growth. The demand for skilled labor is high, at 86.41% of the total. Specifically, individuals with university qualifications make up 24.9%, while those with college and intermediate levels account for 17.63 and 25.18% respectively. The Labor Demands Forecasting Center predicts that Ho Chi Minh City economy will continue to grow in alignment with this year's outline plans, consequently driving the demands for high quality and skilled labor in the second quarter. The Ho Chi Minh City Department of Transport has proposed building more than 500 kilometers of urban rail lines at a total cost of nearly 30 billion US dollars. The proposal was presented during a meeting on April 10 to discuss development plans for the Ho Chi Minh City urban railway development projects following conclusion number 49 of the Police Bureau. The department aims to extend the currently planned network up 220 kilometers to 511 kilometers by 2025 with 10 routes and 384 stations. According to the proposal, the 19.7 kilometer metro line number one 
which nears completion will connect to Line 3A upon extension to Ang Ha Depot in Bunjan District, bordering Long An Province. This extension will create continuous east-west railway access. Once completed, Metro Line Number no. 1 will be 40.8 km long with 14 stations and two depots. Together with Metro Line Number no. 2, the total network will reach 35.82 km. Three investment options have been presented. The first option involves investing in the entire urban railway system totaling 511 kilometers with 384 stations at an estimate cost of nearly 50 billion US dollars. The second option focuses on constructing this line from line number one to line number six with total length of 303 kilometers and an investment of around 25 billion US dollars. The third option prioritizes the completing line one, three, and four with partial construction or the price plans for line two, five, and six. This phase approach was covered approximately 180 kilometers and required 20 billion US dollars. Representatives from the Ho Chi Minh City Department of Planning and Architecture consider the third option visible, aligning with the current urban railway development plan 5 City A, while the plans to complete over 500 kilometers of metro by 2060 is seen as better aligned with long term goals. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development of Vietnam is searching for a loan of 330 million US dollars from the World Bank to carry out a 470 million US dollar plan to cultivate 1 million hectares of high quality rice. Discussions on the projects on that sustainable development took place during a meeting between the Agricultural Projects Management Board and the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in the Mekong Delta City of Cần Thơ on April 8. Li Ku, a senior World Bank expert, said that the projects would be presented to the leadership under the broad framework of the Vietnam Sustainable Agriculture Transformation Projects or VNHAT. The Sustainable Development Projects seeks to foster the sustainable rice industry in Vietnam, elevate farmers' incomes, adapt to climate change, mitigate greenhouse gas emissions, and fulfill international commitment. And that's all from us for now. Thank you and see you next week.